All right, people, it's Sprat here, and don't judge me, all right? But as disgusted as it sounds, I have already hit Master Prestige on Black Ops 3. I'm a slob, I'm disgusting, I'm a nerd, get outside. I play video games a lot, I make videos every day. Obviously, I'm gonna rank up pretty quickly, and I love Prestige, and uh, it's just something I've always done on every card. Today, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the stuff that I've got through ranking up, and uh, show you my stats. So I'm gonna start off with the specialist gear, obviously. You've got to do this. You've got to do the challenges. So if you didn't know how to unlock the hero gear, basically what you've got to do, these nine challenges right here, you've got to do all those on every single specialist. And then when you do that, you unlock one final challenge, whatever, and then you unlock the hero gear. So as you can tell, I'm all stacked up. I've just finished the hive one, which is the worst one I'm telling you. So anyway, here is my guy here for Ruin, Outrider. Looking, looking cool, looking cool. The Prophet, this guy looks, this this guy looks mean. Look how shiny his back is. Then we've got Battery, but I think she's one of the coolest looking ones, honestly. That and uh, this one, the Seraph. Look at that. How cool is that, honestly? Then we've got Nomad. So I did all this, right? All this work for the Hive kills is probably the worst one, I'm telling you. If you get to this, the Hive is horrible. Just, anyway, look at this. That guy's there, and then we get that. His face is clean, and it's just a bit gold. The Reaper. Pretty damn, pretty damn sexy robot right there, to be honest with you. All shiny, looking pretty scary. The Spectre, pretty damn cool one as well. I know a lot of people love this specialist, so I'm sure you guys want to grind for that one. Then we've got the final one, which is the Fire Break, which is probably the least cool looking one. So anyway, Prestige Master, there we are, level 55. Down at the bottom there, let's go into this bit though. Kills, 31,831. That is a lot of kills in just over a month. My winter loss is terrible. I leave a lot of games and I play solo a good amount. But we have a 4 million score. That's that's a lot of score right there. KD's 1.81, winter loss 0.81, and then score per minute's 485. So a lot of this is gonna be with a sniper rifle if you've just tuned in and you're thinking, who the hell is this guy? I basically run around with a sniper rifle a lot, but recently because I was trying to get the hero gear and I was trying to, I'm trying to get Dark Matter. Uh, I've been regulating a bit more, so my KD's got up a little bit, but it was about 1.7, I think, before I messed with the red guns. Anyway, let's go through these first, see if there's anything here that interests you. So two ultra kills, 27 supers, still no, still no kill chain, still no kill chain. I'm mad about it, honestly, I'm mad about it. 11 mega kills there. I don't know why these aren't in order. That's pretty dumb, but three unstoppables. Three nuclears, two two with a sniper. Ten brutals, that means I've choked seven nuclears. Seven nuclears. I'm terrible, man, I'm terrible. Anyway, 61 quad fees, not bad. Obviously, I, all my clips get split, so that probably doesn't even seem like a lot, but like I said, all my clips get split, and I, I don't even care. As long as the movement's cool, I don't even care what the kill feed looks like. Anyway, that's enough about that one. You don't need to see any specialist stuff. Let's go onto the combat record here. Let's look at the sniper stuff. So, Locust, obviously, favorite sniper. 15,625 kills, 1.53 KD, pretty pretty solid. Accuracy 44%, I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously it was a bit rusty at the start and I've lost my shot here and there, but um, 44%, that's pretty good, you know. Almost half my shots hit, so I can't complain about that. SVG is a little bit better on the accuracy side, 45%. And then the headshots here, 533. KD 1.57, 3,680 kills. So the KDs are pretty similar, accuracy pretty similar. And I would say the kill to headshot ratio is pretty much the same too. So VMP there, don't really need to look at this, kind of just me running around. I think my VMP is probably my favorite sub on the game anyway. But yeah, pistol there. Pistol there, Vesper, you know, with just all these red guns here, just bringing up the bringing up the KD. The Draken's there if you want to see that, and then the PO6, I'll go check out. 2.31 KD, dude, the PO6 is the best sniper, I'm telling you, it's so good. All the way down to the bottom, let's see if there's anything I'm going to kill with you. Oh, a couple of things. I mean, I guess you can't really get a kill with that. Combat Knife, Haymaker. We'll be using these LMGs and these shotguns when I go for... When I get the subs and the ARs done for the Dark Matter, I'm obviously going to get Diamond and everything. Nothing really need to show you here. I use a lot of stuns, a few frags, and then about from that, I don't really venture out into anything else. UAV counter hater, you know how it is. I've used 313, 1000. All right, so quite a few of those. I've been using the Cerberus a lot. I don't know. I just think it's fun to run around with, uh, with a little robot running behind you. Pretty cool. Try to get the Talon. Just try to work through all the score streaks now to get some XP. I know it doesn't really matter now, but I just want to get those challenges done. It's been so long since I've played a game of Call of Duty where I'm like looking at these challenges, right? So I've been going on score streaks and I'm like, right, what do I need? So I'm doing the Talon and next I'm going to do another one of these. And I'm work I'm slowly working through these to just get challenges done. I don't know why. It's just so much fun this game and I just love doing all the little challenges there is. Specialists. 
Gravity Spikes, I know I'm disgusting, but hey, we gotta do it for the challenges. Tempest, Hive, I hate you, Hive. You're the worst. I hate the Hive, oh my god. Psychosis, Annihilator. I don't really need to speak about these, but as you can tell, I've used a good amount of them all, and I would probably say Heat Wave is one of my favorite. Uh, Annihilator is good. Kinetic Armor is cool. Overdrive is cool. I hate Rejack because I just hate the fact that you just die usually when you pop out of it. Combat Focus is really good. KD 1.69 in, in TDM, 388 scope a minute. Damn, I have lost a lot of games in TDM. You would think it would be good in TDM, but I just leave a lot and we always seem to lose. Domination, also a terrible win to loss. But look at that scope a minute, guys. I am just a team player. <laughs> I can't not play Domination. I can't not play the objective, but KD 1.92 in Dom. That's a lot of ground war right there too, so I'm pretty happy with that. Hard point 1.79. 564 score per minute, so you know, I just I'm diving in that hill. Kill confirmed. There's another high score per minute, 1.97 KD as well. So pretty pretty happy with all this this kind of stats here. Safeguard, I don't play it, I just leave it. 61 <laughs> Look at that, look at that winter loss. 0.05. Pretty impressive. And then I haven't really played any of those. So yeah, don't really know what else to show you right here. I've played a bit of arena. We haven't lost yet, so I guess that's kind of cool. So there's there's those stats. I, I mean, we played 16 games and won 16 games, so can't complain about that. I think that's it. I mean, you look at my class. This is this is my go-to class right now with a sniper. Obviously, rocking the diamond on here. I've got some nice little. What is this one called? The water on there. Um, there's a thermal class. You can pause it if you want to see what I'm working with. Obviously, SVG with just two attachments. SVG with three or whatever you want to say. We've got a swap class there. PO6, just in case I want to run around with it. Then I got a subclass. I'm working on the Razorback right now because uh, I got to get the headshots with that. I got the headshots with all the other ones. Then I'm doing ARs. I uh, don't know why I've just got the XR2 on there. Then I've got two hardcore classes, obviously. Like I said, working on the Dark Matter, so I need headshots with the ICRs. Is the next one I got to do. And then there's a Man of War one there, too. Yeah, I just wanted to show you my stats. A lot of people want to see this kind of stuff when I hit this kind of level here. Master Prestige, yes, I'm disgusting, but I took advantage a little bit of double XP. I make videos for a living. What do you, what do you expect? What this going to do for today? Hope you all enjoyed this little stats video. Not really sure what I'm going to do from now on. Thank you guys so much for watching anyway. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. So, after recording this whole video, Treyarch just dropped an update, and now everything's changed. So as you can see, I'm level 56 Master Prestige now. And if I go to my barracks, my Prestige Master will go on Prestige mode. You can customize the icon, and as you can tell, a lot to level 100, you get that. And then World of Black Ops 2. Black Ops, World at War, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, World at War. What is this? What is all this stuff here? And you go all the way down to Prestige 14, Level 1000 you get to cuz what 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 I thought I was done rank it up like I guess I'm not done now Jesus how many level I'm level 56 and I have to get to a thousand all right well whatever unpredictable like hurricanes the definition of my style refer to great no comparing to the bravest of the rap game coast to coast even with the lame barricade